push up, scapula, slide to pike. If you're an adult gymnastics skill seeker having trouble with your handstand kickups, you should try this. Scapula push up, slide to pikes are a fantastic exercise for building straight arm strength and shoulder awareness for upper body pushing exercises. You can use them to improve your split kickups to handstand, tuck jump, straddle jump, and pike jumps to handstand, and even your planche. Here's how they work. To perform the slide to pike, you're going to need a slider or a slippery surface that you can slide your feet on. We start in a front leaning rest or a high plank position with the hands roughly one cubit distance apart and the inside edge of the feet pressed together. A cubit is the distance between your elbow and the tip of your middle finger. When performing scapular push-up slide to pikes, you must keep the elbows locked. It can be helpful to twist your hands into the floor towards your pinky fingers as this creates shoulder external rotation and helps to keep the elbows locked. Set a posterior pelvic tilt, PPT, by contracting your glutes and tucking your tailbone between your legs. Contract your quads to lock the knees and keep the legs straight. You want a nice hollow body shape when you're in the front leaning rest. Each rep starts by performing a scapular push-up. Keep the elbows locked as you retract the shoulders by pinching the shoulder blades together behind your back. As you do this, do not allow the shoulders to shrug up towards your ears. Keep them pulled down towards your back pockets. Then, protract the shoulders by spreading your shoulder blades across your back and actively pushing down into the floor. Notice how the upper back is rounded. Maintain the active pushing down into the floor as you pike at the hips and drag your feet towards your hands while keeping the arms and legs straight. Imagine you're trying to pull your hands towards your feet by contracting your lats. The hands won't move, but the intention is there. At the same time, the pelvis moves into an anterior pelvic tilt, APT, as you lift the tailbone towards the sky. The shoulders will also move from a protracted and depressed position to a protracted and elevated position. You don't need to think about this too much as long as you keep actively pushing down into the floor. Once in the pike, your shoulders should cover your ears and there is minimum daylight between the shoulders and ears. Really focus on pushing into the floor to elevate the shoulders. As the feet move towards the hands, push your head and chest forward towards your legs to close the angle between the torso and the thighs. Your pike flexibility will dictate how close you can get your feet to your hands. Hold the pike shape for three to five seconds before reversing the movements and returning to the front leaning rest with the arms and legs straight, the shoulders protracted and the pelvis set in PPT. That's one rep. Performing three to four sets of three to five reps with a three second hold in each pike is a good starting place for most people. Give it a try and see how you go. If you've got questions, please leave them in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.